Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my review of Deadpool number five, an issue that is written by Kelly Thompson with art by Gerardo Sandoval. And I am a Deadpool fan. I'm also a Kelly Thompson fan. So you would think that this series is two great tastes that go great together. Not really for me. I don't feel like this is a Deadpool book. When I think of it, it just something is off. Something is missing. I think the fun factor is missing. And it seems as if Kelly Thompson is writing a Deadpool book where she wants to do something different. I applaud her for that. But the thing that she seems to want to do is make Deadpool more of a hero, make Deadpool more maybe acceptable. And it's not just Deadpool doesn't have to have fart and, you know, junk jokes. You don't need that all the time. But what I do, what I like for Deadpool is his wacky pop culture references and love. When you end up finding out that he's a Barbara Streisand fan, he loves the Golden Girls, but also White Snake, like some things like that. I'm not getting that a lot in this book. And again, I don't know if it is Kelly Thompson trying to make more of a story to make Deadpool more likable, make him more of a hero, but he always is a hero. The, the fun part to me for Deadpool is that he wants to be a bad guy. He wants to be this, you know, anti-hero type deal, but he always does have a heart of gold. He always is going to do the right thing. And I just, it doesn't feel right in this, but you do end up having a story where he is king of Monster Island. Now, I'm king of Trash Island. I don't know if anybody knows sassy. that. Sassy! It is sassy. And really, if you would have seen my coronation dress, oh my, the heads did turn on Trash Island that day. But Deadpool, he, coming out of the War of the Realms, the monsters have taken over at, taken over Staten Island to make it Monster Island. And Deadpool had killed the old king of the monsters, so he then became king of the monsters. Since then, Elza Bloodstone, the monster hunter, she's been kind of in and out of his life, and you can tell they're starting to like each other. That That's fun enough. I'm just not getting a lot. So this issue is basically, in my mind at the beginning, about, hey, a monster should be allowed to be a monster, just be itself, why are you judging me, all of these things like that. It's like the old Looney Tunes. Monsters are such interesting people. Because you end up having Smash Smash, the Godzilla clone there, actually he's Japan and Swedish. He's a combo. But even that explanation, I think maybe that was supposed to be funny, but it wasn't. But he is playing Smash Smash, is playing with Jeff the Landshark. Jeff the Landshark from Kelly Thompson's deal in West Coast Avengers. Gwen Poole ended up showing up in this book and giving Jeff to Deadpool in case her book was canceled. This would save Jeff. Now, that's fine. I love Jeff, but it almost seems like Jeff being in this book has shifted the humor only to Jeff. And I don't know why you needed to do that. And it, it does give Deadpool something to care about, but it's been that thing that you keep having pop up. Oh, no, Jeff's in trouble. I got to say, oh, no, Jeff, it just keeps going. But here you end up having Smash Smash and Jeff playing. That's fun. As Elsa's like, this is a bad idea. These monsters are monsters. Obviously, she's a monster hunter. This is the thing she does. But she's kind of right because Smash Smash just starts heading off to New York City. He's going to go trample and shoot fire and electricity out. And he's going to destroy everything. Now, you end up having a Godzilla clone in your book. This should lead to some fun. You pop culture reference, all these things. It doesn't. It really doesn't do anything. All it ends up being is a fight between Elsa and Deadpool of whether Smash Smash should be killed or if he should be reasoned with. Now, at the end, there's the, the twist that happens, which makes all that mute, and it just bothers me. But you end up where Deadpool. He's wrong. Smash Smash wasn't just going to play with Jeff. He's going to go destroy the city. And with that, there's the whole caveat that if Smash Smash does do that, you do have a lot of government agencies and groups that want to come and pretty much put a kibosh on Monster Island. This would give them the opportunity to do that. So Deadpool has to go stop him. And Deadpool has to figure out then how to get to New York City proper. And then there's what is supposed to be a joke. You get Hurl. 
Hurl is going to hurl him there in his pink goo. This goes on too long. It's not very funny. And it's just to get to New York City. They get there. Jeff's with them. They upchuck that. All right, we go. But you end up having Deadpool trying to reason with Smash Mash. And I, I do like the thing where Smash Mash just talks and pretty much pictures, emojis type things. You know, I'm going to destroy this. I'm going to wreck that. I do like that. And I do like the concept of Deadpool wanting to reason with the monster. He's kind of going, you know, he is king of Monster Island, but he's taken to these monsters because people look at him as a monster. Well, we get it. But this has been going on too long. This whole arc, this whole story, just a little too long with it. So you end up as Deadpool is trying to reason with a smash smash. Elsa shows up. She just wants to kill. And yeah, you see in the background that Smash Mash, he's charging up to pretty much go ham on the city while Deadpool's just sitting there, uh, you know, trying to reason. Elsa shows up. You know that he's going to wreck the city. It's you again. Why do you keep coming? We, we understand that they're starting to like each other just because they keep jumping back and forth into each other's lives here. Well, while they're talking. And arguing and trying to figure out what they're going to do with Smash Smash. Uh, Jeff, he's getting pissed. He wants to take care of old Smash Smash himself. And that's when he goes to attack. But the problem is, is that Smash Smash ends up swallowing Jeff. Here we go again with the how dare you grab that. You know, I'm going to get you for what you just did. Catch me outside. And that's that? what happens. And he's like, yeah, you made a big mistake. Starts fighting Elsa and Deadpool now start fighting Smash Smash to get back Jeff. Well, the, you end up Smash, Smash Smash is destroying the city as this is happening, it, just going to town. And so they get Jeff back and now everything's fine. Let's reason with Smash Smash again until then out of nowhere, he kills two civilians, two people from New York City. When this panel happened, I actually thought that that was Deadpool and Elsa. I had no idea. I didn't even see them up there on the building. I'm like, oh, man. They, oh, okay. They were civilians? Well, there you go. And what that just means is, okay, now we can kill them. And, and that's what happens. They end up killing Smash Smash. And I'm like, well, what happened this whole issue? I mean, this is really weird. And it's not that fun. And then you end with a nice moment. You end with... Elsa talking to Deadpool about, you know what, you're not so bad. You know, maybe we're not really opposites like we thought. You know, you're trying to do good. I let, And starts holding his hand. It's a nice moment. And even Deadpool, like, that's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. And I like that. And he even says, you know, my face looks like hamburger under here, right? And she said, I've been looking at monsters my whole life, Wade. Looking at your face is like looking at boring wallpaper. And he's like, well... I was wrong. That's the nicest thing anybody has ever said to me. And then you have the La Finn as the end. And I just like, all right, well, I didn't really have that much fun. And I haven't had much fun in this first five issues. And I hope that it's just setting up this first arc. Kelly Thompson kind of getting her feet wet with the character. But I need something more. I, I need to have a maybe what we need are a couple one shots now and again where she can just have fun. Just goofy fun. If she wants to give this longer story deal and make it, you know, like I said, it, it seems like she doesn't want to do the real over the top Deadpool, the offensive Deadpool and stuff like that. So if that's who you like, I don't think you'll like that. But maybe she's on to something because I see some other reviewers do like this. And maybe this is a good entry point for people who usually wouldn't like Deadpool. But the movies are huge. You would think that you'd at least want to try to maybe get a little bit of the flavor of Ryan Reynolds. And I ended up liking Scotty Young's art, you know, run before this one. I, I did. It started off rough as well. So that's why I want to give this a little more time. Um, but once it started going, I started really enjoying it. And I just he had the voice of Wade down. And this just doesn't feel like wade yet it feels like there's an imposter it feels like somebody else is wade there this is a weird deadpool so because of that I i'm gonna give it a five out of ten just right down the middle and again you can go up or down from this and you could always disagree with me i think that if you really really like the over the top deadpool then you'll probably be below that you know demarcation line and if you really don't like that but want something that's easier to jump into and not as offensive then you go higher but i'm gonna be right in the middle 
And that's that. But thanks, everybody, for listening. I hope that you enjoyed this quick one. Uh, Yeah, give this a subscribe, a like, all those things. Check out the show note deals below this old video where I have links to all of our things, weird science, websites, podcasts, all that stuff. And yeah, if you disagree with me, that's fine. That is great if you agree, whatever. But yeah, we can talk about it. It's not a fight. It's a discussion. You know, it's what I like to say are my two favorite words in the English language, debate. You know, we could just we could just have fun talking about it. And you can tell me why you like it. And then I'll tell you why that's nonsense is how it goes. But you know what I mean? Everybody is allowed to have their own opinion. So, hey, thanks, everybody. And I'll talk to you later.